Hey guys, welcome back. So I wanted to do a quick little flea market tour review. I went down to the flea market this morning. Uh, it's Sunday and I went down to the flea market this morning kind of early. I think I got down there about 7 o'clock and I wanted to walk around and see if I could find any more good stuff. So I uh, decided to go down there and look around and uh, fortunately I did find a couple neat things that, that I picked up that I feel like I got a pretty good deal on. So I found it kind of interesting, one of the items that I found and I wanted to show it off with you. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about, and, and this is what I find really interesting because uh, last night I just made the other video that uh, about my uh, granddad's toolbox that uh, you've probably already seen by now because I've already, it's already been filmed, but I showed you in that, in that toolbox uh, tour in one of the drawers his snap-on thread chasing tool which is this right here I brought it out so you can see it again this is all the dies the, the different uh, thread pitch dies that go in the tool right here this is the one I showed you that was in his box you see the dies go right there and this is an adjustable tool so anyway that this was my granddad's and it's something that we have used quite a bit so, when I was down there at the flea market today, I, I was walking, as soon as I got there, I was walking through the first aisle, and I noticed there was a guy that was still kind of unloading some of his tools. Uh, he had a bunch of different stuff. But right in the middle of his table, I seen this long Starrett box. So it caught my eye. And he had a couple more boxes stacked on top of that. So I stopped and looked, and uh, when I seen the box, I figured it was probably a veneer caliper, so I walked around to the side where I could see the label on the side of it, and that's what it was, a 24 inch veneer. So I asked him if I could look at his stair tools there. And he said, yeah, and he, uh, he took them out. The first one was a interchangeable mic from two to six inches. I found that a little bit odd because I don't think I've ever seen a two to six interchangeable. Uh, I didn't get that because I don't need any more mics, but uh, he showed me another box, and I'm about to get to that. And then he uh, he showed the veneer caliper. He pulled it out of the box. He didn't even let me touch it. But uh, he pulled it out of the box and opened up the case. And he says it was still brand new, and it belonged to his dad. Uh, his dad ended up, his dad was a machinist, a tool and die maker, at the same place that my granddad worked out at the base. I found that really interesting. It's pretty cool to hear that. So he had some of his dad's tools that was passed down to him. And he showed this veneer caliper. He opened it up, and it was still wrapped up in that paper that uh, Starrett used to wrap their tools in when they shipped them out. And uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful veneer caliper, brand new. And it didn't look like it had ever been used. Uh, but I've already, I've already got veneer calipers, and it's not something that I need. And he was a little steep on the price. He was asking $600 for that, and he was firm on that price there. And if I, if I could have gotten that one for... Uh, a lot less than 600 I might would have picked that up too but uh so I passed on that but what he had I noticed on top of that was another box another white box and uh, what it ended up being was another one of these thread chasing tools that I just showed you in another video right here make sure you can see it but this was the box um, it's a snap-on tool you know the blue point universal threading tool and uh, he was holding it and he opened it up he opened it up showed it to me like that and I was like man I got the same tool at home that belonged to my granddad and I was really really interested as soon as he opened it up I was like man that thing that thing looks like it's brand new and it is he, he says it looks like it's never been used and uh, he let me he let me take a look at it and all of the dies are still in the uh, the peel coat that it came with I assume I don't know but I assume maybe they shipped it like that and it also came with some metric with some metric chasing dies and of course our set doesn't have the metric dies but and they're also in that in that peel coat you can you can see it they're all they're all dipped in that peel coat and it's got a little rain to keep them together 
So I seen that, you know, and I was like, just, I was very intrigued because besides uh, my granddad's thread chasing tool here, I've never seen another one. I don't know how common these are, but I've never seen another one. So I was really interested in this thing. And the fact that it's brand new and it's got metric chase, uh, thread chasing dies with it also. And the other neat things that I noticed it had this tool in there. And I've never seen one before in person. And uh, my set, my granddad's set, didn't have this. But what this is, is an internal, like an internal scraping tool. And it's got its own set of dies here. All different pitches. And you just, you use the bolt there, the screw, and just attach your die. And you can reach in a bore if you need to chase the thread and, I, and you can hand scrape the thread to uh, clean the threads up. So that this could actually be a very handy tool around the machine shop is uh, for cleaning up some threads because uh, uh, you know if you don't have a tap, a lot of that stuff that I do is that big cylinder work and we have a lot of big size threads and uh, you know rod eyes it's got holes that's bored and threaded internally. Sometimes when I'm doing that you have to drill and tap through the side with for a set screw, you know, so you've got a burr inside the thread that you gotta get in there and clean up. So I'm hoping this tool right here will actually come in handy so I can reach in some of them bores and, and, and scrape them threads. So that's the internal tool there. And uh, I'm gonna pull this out so we can look at it. This is just a box that uh, they put around it to keep it from moving around. And that's it. And it's tool number TR20, made by Snap-on. And this one's got the uh, little rubber grips on the ends. My granddad's doesn't have them on there. And I don't know if he took them off or maybe his just didn't come with him whenever he bought his. But there's the clamp. You know, you loosen this bolt and you stick your die there. And you adjust it with this nut here, just like a crescent wrench. And you adjust it up, you get it. You have your die in there and you adjust it up around your threads, good and, good and snug, and then you turn it this way. You pull it around your threads and just screw that sucker on there and clean your threads up. But I'm looking at the inside right here, the brass plate. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. It still looks new. So... I kind of had to have it, man. He, uh, I, I told you, I've never seen another one. And the fact that it was his, that his dad's, and his dad was a machinist also, a tool and die maker. <clears throat> I, I got a lot of respect for it. And, uh, and he knew that I knew what I was talking about. Oh, uh, it also came with the little book here, the instruction book. That's pretty neat. It's got all the info in there. Tells you how to use the tool. It's got part numbers in here for the uh, for all of the threading dies. So that's pretty neat. Got the little book. So as far as the price goes, whenever he uh, whenever I was looking at it, he's got a sticker. He's got a sticker on here that says $150. So I was looking at it and I asked him, I said, well, how much are you asking for it? And he said that he would take $125 for it, it's what he wanted. And uh, at the time I had just gotten there, I wanted to walk around and it wouldn't blow my wad at one time. So I, I told him, I said, I might be back, let me think about it, I wanted to walk around and see what else I could find out there. Because uh, I didn't necessarily need this, but you guys are learning that I'm a tool junkie. And, and this this right here is a, not only is it a very useful tool in a machine shop, I liked it because my granddad had the same one and it pretty much came from the same shop that my granddad worked at. So uh, what I did is I walked around a couple times and got me some coffee and, and uh, finally came back to him at the very end. And uh, we got to talking, I, I probably stood there 20 minutes talking to him and he was showing me all the things on the table and and uh, telling me how much he'd sell this and that for, but all I wanted really was this. So I finally, I was like, well, what I came back for is the three threading tool. 
and uh, 125 is a little high for me. So I offered him 80 bucks, and he wouldn't take $80 for it. He said, no, that's a little too low. He said he would take 110. So I counter offered again. I told him, I said, I'll give you $100 for it. And that's my final offer. So he thought about it and he says, all right. He says, I know that you respect this tool and, and you know what it is. And I'm just glad that somebody appreciates it. And, uh, and that it's going to go to a good home. So he said, I'll take a hundred bucks for it. So I gave him a hundred dollars for the rethreading tool. It's a little more than what I was looking to spend on a tool down there today, but I really like this. And, and it was just one of the things that I got to have it. And I think I got it for a decent price. Uh, it was still more than what I wanted to pay, but I'm happy to have it. So what I might end up doing is uh, I'm probably going to put my name on my granddad's and I might take this set down there and put it in my machinist box at work. And because I have wanted to take this down and use it, I, I could have used it several times, but I didn't want to take it down there. So I might take it down there now. I'm going to go ahead and inscribe my name on it. I'm going to leave this nice new set here in my shop. And probably just leave it. I'm gonna put it up in the box and just leave it just like it is. So I wanted to just show that off with you. I was really, I was really uh, proud to to find this tool right here. So there was that, and I found one more thing. And it's a set of Union Butterfield seven eighths nine hand tap set. So I walked by the uh, the table where these things were sitting, and uh, I looked at them and I opened them up and I pull one out and they look like they've never been used they're still really sharp they, they have no sign of usage although you can see you know Union they put the uh, the little foam piece in there to keep them from moving around and, and that stuff always deteriorates and that's just what it done with this set see it's just falling out of there got a little bit of rust on there but they're all in really good shape they've never been used before and uh, so I asked the guy that was standing there how much he wanted for him. He said he didn't know because they belonged to somebody else. So I came back later and uh, wanted to ask him again. Of course, the guy wasn't there again, but he said that he, uh, he asked them that somebody was uh, wanting them. He asked how much he was wanting for them. And the guy told him 10 bucks. So I walked back around there again and picked them up and looked at them. You know, I'm sitting there, I'm looking like I'm interested. And the guy that was helping me, he says, give me seven bucks and you can have them. So I thought that was well worth seven dollars for a, for a new old, uh, never used Union Butterfield tap set. Seven eighths nine. So that's just another nice, that's just another nice tap set to uh, throw in the toolbox and, and have on hand. You know, you can't buy Union, Union Butterfield anymore. Uh, from what I understand, their, their business is gone. Uh, the name anyway so that was my uh, so that's my flea market finds for the day and uh, I just I, I probably wouldn't have showed this if, if I hadn't have got that but I really wanted to show that off and, and and let you see what I got today so Tom it's all your fault man you got us all started on this flea market thing and now now I'm, I'm starting to get the bug of wanting to go down there on the weekends and look around and I know you can you can find some nice stuff at flea markets. And I went down there and showed my dad what I got, and he liked them. And he's uh, he's saying we ought to get up and, and go to some of the other flea markets every now and then. We've got some big ones here. Uh, we've got another one over in Gulf Breeze that's a big one that uh, I want to go check out. And we've got another one over in Mobile. So he was saying we ought to get up and, and go to go to a couple of them other ones. So we might be doing that pretty soon. I told him, I said, I need to save up and have me a wad of cash in case I find something. Because uh, you never know what you're going to find at a flea market. All right, well, that's it, man. Just want to do a quick uh, quick show and tell on the, uh, the new tools that I got at the flea market. So uh, we'll see you around soon until the next video. All right, see you guys.